Welcome to video 120 in series 3. Now let's get on to writing a script to spawn some particles. Now first of all I realize I put the destructible master script in the wrong place. I put it in the destructible folder. So just move it to the master scripts if you followed exactly how I had done it. Uh, now let's make a new script. I'll just call it destructible particle spawn. So basically this is going to be the uh, explosion effect. Alright, so private destructible master destructible master and public game object uh, explosion effect. And no need for start and update. And I'll just make a new method here, void spawn explosion. And I'll just simply say here, if explosion effect is not equal to null, then instantiate explosion effect at transform dot position and just quaternion uh, dot identity. Okay, for set initial references, I'll just say destructible master is get component, and of course, destructible master. Okay, on enable, call set initial references, and destructible master dot event uh, destroy me plus equal spawn explosion. Oops, not that. Spawn explosion. There we go. And just the uh, uh, corresponding unsubscribe in on disable. So that'll do it for this script. This is done. Uh, so let's go back to Unity. Okay, and I better attach that to the uh, barrel. So destructible particle spawn. And what is that effect? It's that one that I'd set aside. Let me just lock that. Particle systems, prefabs, explosion, barrel. Okay. I'll just hit apply. Unlock that. And I'll just double check it. I'll just have a look at it. Yep, it's got a destroyer on it. So that looks fine. Uh, best way to know is to try it out. Okay. So if I shoot it. Okay, excellent. There we go. So it exploded. That's all good. Okay, so we've got our particle spawn system working, and well, that's all pretty good then. So keep on going, and thanks for watching.